Hey there everyone, this is Danielle taking a quick look at Guilty Gear Strive Season 3, or the start of it anyway. Uh, so the first character of Season 3 is Johnny, uh, and I've prepared a little uh, presentation to talk about Johnny, uh, and how he's a bit of an interesting character, I think. Uh, you'll also see that uh, the menu looks extremely different than it used to. This is the main menu of the game now, they have completely redesigned it. I think it looks pretty great. Uh, we're going to be paging through and having a bit of a look at Johnny's stuff in a moment, but first let's just talk about who he is. Uh, so this is him. Uh, there he is. He's a shirtless cowboy pirate. <laughs> um, basically, he was introduced in the very first Guilty Gear as the, lead, the uh, nominal leader of the Jellyfish Pirates, the pirate crew that uh, May is from, who fly around in their airship and do good and are basically Robin Hood style pirates. <laughs> Robin Hood's not actually a pirate, but that, that kind of thing. You get the idea. Uh, so here's, uh, here's what we saw in the first game. We got a glimpse of what he looks like. His design has barely changed. Uh, he does not have a ponytail as of Exard, which is a bit sad because it looked quite nice. Uh, but apart from that, he's essentially the same look in every game. <laughs> Uh, a bit of a shame. Uh, so based on his design and the fact that he was introduced in 1998 and the fact that his name's Johnny, uh, and if you've perhaps seen a little bit of how he talks and what he's kind of like, you might think, he's this guy. <laughs> and you would not exactly be wrong. Um, Johnny Guilty Gear is a very similar character to Johnny Bravo. Uh, but although there's been some games that have sort of made this mistake, uh, neither Johnny Guilty Gear nor Johnny Bravo are this type of character. He's not a successful, suave womanizer with a huge harem of women. This is not accurate. This, is, this artwork is from Accent Core Plus story mode, and it's not a good portrayal of the character. Uh, the character is actually more like this. Uh, this is from Guilty Gear X. Uh, the first game Johnny was playable in, his story in that game is that basically... Dizzy is being hunted for a bounty and all that. He wants to find her to protect her, to bring her onto the May ship and keep her safe from all of the bounty hunters and stuff. And that is the correct like ending to that story. That is what happens. Dizzy goes on, goes with the jellyfish pirates and is safe, which is very sweet. Uh, this video, this image quality is shit. But here's another ending. This is uh Johnny. Contemplating with his cat whether he should tell May about her origins. Uh, basically, Johnny is an adoptive father to most of the jellyfish pirates because they are orphans of war, and he's essentially their dumb himbo dad. <laughs> uh, and May uh, is Japanese, but at this point in the story, she does not know that. And Johnny's trying to figure out whether he should tell her, basically, which is why he's talking to a cat about it. <laughs> Uh, the other thing to understand, I said nominal leader of the Jellyfish Pirates. He is described as the leader, uh, but I would say May is the leader, uh, because here's example and interaction from Exard. Johnny asking May for his allowance. May wins the fight and tells him he doesn't get it. <laughs> so she manages the finances. Uh, she basically runs... She's basically the one in charge. She has all the control over what happens on the May ship. Johnny, he's, he's kind of a figurehead. <laughs> uh, so yeah, basically, he presents himself as this suave womanizer sort of guy who's super cool and uh, the man who was hated by the god of failure. You'll see what I mean about that in a bit. <laughs> uh, but in actuality, Johnny Guilty Gear is a dumb himbo dad who is a sweetheart, and we love him. <laughs> also, uh, you may have seen uh, when his drive art appeared, which looks like this, you may have seen some memes about how they took his nipples. They didn't take his nipples. Uh, he, he never had any. This is from uh, Exard. He didn't have them there either. He has just never had them. Uh, they haven't been taken. They just don't exist. <laughs> I don't know why. I have a bit of a fan theory here that just nobody has them in the whole universe, except for Eno, for various reasons. 
Uh, but we'll get into that later. Anyway, uh, I don't know how to play as Johnny, uh, and I think they've changed his moveset in this game anyway, and I haven't seen what it's like yet. Uh, I've seen people playing a little bit of as him, but I haven't, like, watched any of the start quick starts or whatever, so... Uh, we're just gonna jump into the training mode. You can see as you go to different menu options, it shows some nice different art. Uh, and of course, uh... The girl who funded Guilty Gear Strive Season 3 is on the training option. <laughs> oh, very cute. Uh, and yeah, you've just, just got some nice art all over. Training. But yeah, we're going to jump into training here. And we're just going to go in as Johnny and see how it works. Because I just haven't played as him properly. Or at all. Oh, I've got some nice mods applied, as you can see. They have changed how this looks a bit. You can see, um, everyone's, like... Character types are displayed in game now, I believe. Oh, actually, they were before, they just looked a bit different. Uh, but the types have actually changed a bit. Uh, for example, Ramlethor was a shooting character because she like shoots her swords. Uh, she's changed to a balance type in this version. Uh, got power characters, rushdown characters, stuff like that. They've adjusted the star, the star ratings for ease of use as well. Anyway, here's Johnny. Uh, he's a zoning character apparently. Fine. Uh, uh, like with Asuka, actually I'll show you how that works. Uh, if I go to Asuka here, Asuka you can see it says R sharp there. If I press up, I can toggle it to being Asuka R Cruets instead. So you can play as the real Asuka or as his clone. Johnny has a similar feature. Uh, you can play as Johnny with a beard. <laughs> I, I don't really get it, but he can have a beard if you like. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're just gonna go into practice mode. Uh, probably against Kai is fine, and we'll just Kai, I'll just get a just get a hang of Johnny's move set. Uh, by the way, the only mod that exists for Johnny right now in Game Banana is the Cat Ears mod. <laughs> Every time he, he's been out for mm, three, maybe maybe four hours, and there's already a Cat Ears mod. <laughs> Okay, cool. Uh, three double jump. Air dash. Fairly standard movement options, but he's quite fast, which I'm noticing. noticing. Oh, he just his dash is faster. Come on, let me just back up a bit. Interesting. He can't run forward. Like, I, if I keep holding forward like this, he should dash and then run, but he just dashes. Interesting. Okay, let's try some buttons. By the way, uh, I'm playing on one of these now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, these are called a flat box. I'll put a link to where I got this one from in the description so you can get one if you want, but they are in quite high demand, so you might just want to look for flat box and find another one. Uh, they're cool. I like them. Uh, that's our punch. I did the punch. Uh, a kick is a kick. I like how he holds his hat, that's cute. <laughs> uh, there's our slash. And heavy slash. Ooh, what if I crouch? Oh, I like my, my crouched heavy slash, that's fun. <laughs> I like it. Uh, my dust. He just kind of hits people with the the, the scabbard, I guess. Alright. Uh, my sweep. And my grab. Looks like a grab. <laughs> Alright. Uh Hey there. You nervous or something? You're pretty good. I told some respects. Told some respects are alright. Uh let's see what my specials are. Okay, I've got a 6P, as everyone does, it's just an anti-air. 6K? Oh, that's quite good. You just zip forward and kick way up. <laughs> oh, interesting. My forward HS is a... I'll give you a little bit of forward momentum. It's fine. Going into the stand wearing a good flexing strike attack. The two motion flexes above the cable is in horizontal. The explosion forms a downward flexion while it's attacked. Holding PS will maintain the stand. 
Inputting Heavy Slash or Dust Storm the soundtrack is disengaged the fans without performance. Okay, so you can go into go into go into your Miss Finest stance and sort of hold it until you want to release it and attack. And I guess you can faint as well. Interesting. Uh, and it's a mid-air version. Uh, same deal. P is above, K is horizontal, S is below. That's kind of weird given where my buttons are, but it could be weird. Uh, and that's the same information, but I guess the mid-air version is different enough that they had to explain it separately instead of just saying air, okay. Fair enough. Ooh. D. Well, Johnny throws a card to his front. The direction the card is thrown varies between the PK and S version. The card does not hit as an attack. Oh, okay. So it's not a projectile. Okay. I believe in the previous games, Johnny threw coins, and he had a limited supply of coins. Uh, but he seems to have figured out that throwing money at your opponent means you have less money. So he doesn't do that now. <laughs> Deal, Mira. You have to use Heavy Slash for the Mira version. Fine. Card also hits an attack. Okay. Bolt. A special move to... Oh, okay. So you can Heavy Slash to go into this Bolt, and then if you hit it again, you will do a Mira deal. Okay. And Senga? Yeah, that's good. Oh, I've, I've seen this one um in the... I think Exard, uh, Dust Loop, Dust Loop's Exard listing. Yeah, he, he spells out a J, which is pretty cool. There you go. Bam. I believe maybe... No, that, that one's always an overdrive, that's right. This one used to be an instant kill, but it is now an overdrive because instant kills aren't in this game yet. Projectile forward, it tracks the opponent's position of initial attack. Okay. Okay, so it is it is obviously simplified compared to some of the other versions. Fine. So put a circle back into PKS for Miss Final. Forward into PKS for Deal, or forward into HS HS for Mid Air Deal. Okay. So yeah, I can just sort of jump over people like this, or I can go bam bam, it would actually hit them. Interesting. Okay, so if I, ch if I chuck my card out like this... Hmm. Hang on, try the other ones. If the card goes a bit further with S... Here we go. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think I get the basic idea. Oh, that is a flirty grab. Look at that. <laughs> oh, what's the back throw? Same thing. I think they do a lot of damage, but I think they've actually reduced the damage values in the Season 3 patch, like, across the board. So that might be good by the new game standard. Hmm. Okay. Alright, let's, um... Jump into Johnny's Arcade. I really want to see who his assist and boss are. I feel like Testament is going to be one of them, and May is probably the other. But beyond that... But that's not, that's not even guaranteed, and beyond that I have no idea. Right. I don't know which one is which, gonna be which. Who dares to enter the mayhem? I could be surprised, it could be three Johnnies again, who knows. <laughs> Johnny. I'm give him a beard. Yervanya? Really? Okay. I'm so curious what this story is going to be about. 
did not see that coming. I don't think they've met. I could be wrong. Um, but I don't think Johnny was in Strive's script. Last I remembered. Man, he does show up in the credits. They cannot change society. So instead of reflecting oh, we'll see what the story's about, I suppose. Oh yeah, Johnny's intro has him sort of hallucinate being in a desert. It's it's pretty cool. What do you want? I'm a little busy cloud watching. Well, and you're in luck. I'm accumulating this. What does that mean? John. John. Alright, well, let's see if we can take down Geo. I've only got, like, the vague idea of how to fight with this character, but do my best. Seems to be working. Take this. Take this. Here you go. It's over. Take You were too caught up in the odds. John. I like that animation. That's cute. Two. Let's rock. Watch your skin. Here you go. What's going on here? I should turn you in. Fine, if you'll be my prison guard. No can do. Can't you tell I love my job? Uh, that's a shame. Seems like it's hell on your shoulders. If you'd like a change of pace, the jellyfish pirates are hiring. I'll pass. Goodbye. Interesting. Okay. I guess we see who the boss is? I was convinced it was going to be something with May and possibly Testament. I did not see Giovanna coming. <laughs> a good chance I lose at least a heart uh, here because I don't really know what I'm doing with Johnny yet. Uh, and end up calling hard route, but that's fine. We can see hard route. She's on my other laptop here and she's fell on the floor. <laughs> I like how Johnny's kind of hallucinating what's going on. I don't love um, the cat ears not really fitting when his you hat's not on. Cool way to, lose, mate. to be fair, the mod's only been out for a few minutes. That might not have been tested properly. Johnny. Johnny. Bursa. 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 Hey, Axel. Let's I'm not really sure how to use the new um dust abilities well yet either. I guess burst abilities. Um, in this patch, you can see the burst meters cut cut in half as the mark in the middle. Basically, it's fifty percent burst. You can use, uh, you can do a quarter circle and then hit dust, and it will either let you use a shield that blocks basically everything fifty percent burst, or uh, you can do what's called wild assault, where you just sort of charge forward. I don't know when those are useful yet because I've only had the patch for a few few hours and haven't experimented. Here's the 
I think the J is always the correct way around, regardless of which direction you do it from. Because most things don't mirror like that in these games. Oh, there goes a heart. I do like that Axel does that when he wins. Very cute. <laughs> Oh yeah, of course that's his victory animation. You feel lucky old Johnny even gave you the time of day. Eat. Johnny. So, what is that coin? It says 50 J? Like, like the, the money in this setting is world dollars. It is not Johnny's. <laughs> hmm, I don't know what to make of that. Okay, Sin. I think Sin got buff. In the season three pack, so we'll see how we do. We are on hard instead of extreme now, though, so this may not be too tricky. Also, I think I need to turn V Sync back on. Mankind knew that they mm, doesn't matter, it only really comes up during Space animations and stuff. Like, the gameplay. Ow, he is hurting me. Hey, Wild Apple can be pretty good, actually. It's like a way to lead into an attack. You were too caught up in the arms. John seems to work pretty well. Yeah, he's definitely a zoning character because of the way he can place cards in all sorts of different places. I'm still not quite getting the hang of it, but it's clearly a thing you can you can make take advantage of to a great extent. <laughs> oh yeah, that one is short range, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, we're good. I really do like his coin uh, You really should have started watching me before the fight. That's the day I like his voice. I, I like a lot of characters' voices in this game. <sighs> Leah, Leah, that girl. The, the 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 Russian girl who loves the subhuman self. The other one. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beasts, heaven or hell. Yeah, the ears do not look right when his hat's off. <laughs> I'll make this painless. Let's make this snappy. Two genders. <laughs> Versus Melia. Duel one. Let's rock! Let's 
This trick is really good. I'm told it's a really bad instant kill, but I'm having a lot of luck with it in, in this Strive version. Yeah, they changed blue burst so it hits the whole screen, I think. It's pretty weird, but... I guess it works because they need to be theoretically pretty close to you. Activate blue instead of gold burst. Wins. Oh, well, he's a projectile, that's not true, so I don't know. It's a bit weird. Yeah, that's kind of best. Slash. Oh. Oh, the coin. Let's get one thing straight. I didn't beat you. You beat yourself. Understand the difference. Yeah. Testament. Ah, uh, that's my cutie. Yeah, these two are a very popular pairing. <laughs> uh, they they both have a thing about protecting Dizzy and that they cannot change they... society. We're at loggerheads for a while because of that, and they have they've grown a respect for one another. So you, know, you can kind of see it there. Also, the ship name is Johnny Tess, which is hilarious. Well, to a dazzling encounter. Now here's a face I haven't seen in a minute. John, John. We're gonna do a kiss about it. Finding Joker is pretty easy to use, and that's my name. <laughs> I keep forgetting about the range thing. <laughs> Bridget? I don't think you have any special interactions with Johnny yet, but I'm curious to see if there are some. There is a sort of infamously an encounter where Johnny was uh, pseudo flirting with Bridget. He was technically trying to recruit her to the Jellyfish Pirates, but he has this like suave woman as a facade, so it comes across like blood. Uh, and then he realizes that he's, you know, a guy, 
My show's not cheap. I was like, this, is, this isn't this, this this isn't a unique interaction, so. All right, fine. How about we take this to my show? I mean, that sounds like the kind of thing he would say to us, so. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, they have been adding more interactions in later patches, so we'll see. This also means that uh, Bridget is not his boss, because the boss character is always not going to appear in, in previous stages, so I wonder who the boss is going to be. Yeah, the range on that is very small. <laughs> Keep forgetting. <laughs> I, I do like the one where he slices up the rose, that looks really cool. Yeah, yeah, you, you can do that. That's fine. There we go. I actually managed to pull it off. The range is very small in that one. Stage 7, and I'm on Hard Rat, so it'll be a normal random encounter with Angie. Are they gonna flirt? Angie flirting with Asuka in the last update was amazing. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Mankind knew that they cannot change society. Okay. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they label the beasts, heaven, or hell. <laughs> Yeah, the cat ears do not look right when he's got his hat off. He said the mod came out like curtain. immediately. Man knows when to shut his mouth. <laughs> John versus Angie. Duel one. Let's rock. <laughs> Up your game. He 
What are you doing now? I'm not sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, who's my boss? Let's find out. Because it's Geo in stage Let's one. Go. I did not see that coming. Yeah, May. That that makes sense. May is the boss. That makes sense. Last oh. vision. <laughs> Mankind knew that they cannot change society. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts. Heaven or hell. Hi, kid. Johnny! Damn. Ooh, you're earlier than I expected. Johnny. Johnny. Versus May. While you were out playing, we were slaying dragons! Today's the day you're gonna get it! Why not explain? Uh, that's all it took. You've done already. Duel one. Let's rock! Uh, 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 oh, no, she's not forgetting. I do miss getting to hear the characters theme under the boss. But I do like all the characters theme. But I also like Crawl, so. her aboard and I've been turning him down the whole time sorry I thought Johnny was cheating on me cheat me I played straight with all the ladies and again I've been turning him down come on Giovanna you might as well at least come aboard then I can make it up to you and everyone will be happy how's the view world-class I guarantee I'm interested. Yippee! I'm gonna splurge today! On Johnny's dime, of course. Ah, throw me a bone here. Once there huh. I mean, that's cute. <laughs> Game, Game over. over. Not what I was expecting, but it's cute. <laughs> it's basically what I was saying, where May is the actual leader of the Jellyfish Pirates and calls all the shots. <laughs> well, um, I guess that's Johnny. Um, I don't know enough about the character's previous play styles to know whether he's changed a whole lot in this game, uh, but seems pretty fun to play, uh, and with more practice I would be better. Um, I, I wasn't really 
dealing cards to the right places for Mistfinder to be useful in the correct places. Uh, but, no, I pulled through. Put it on hard, just not bad. <laughs> um, and I really like his design. I think it's cool that he gets a beard. I'm looking forward to a version of the Cat Ears mod that makes it look so it look right when he's got his hat off. I assume one is coming because, yeah, the mod is like, like a frame one trick sort of thing <laughs> that they've already put it out. <laughs> uh, I'm also hoping for a mod that gives him back his really long ponytail from um, the Sprite Arrow games because obviously he needs a really long ponytail. It looks amazing. Um, apart from that, he's a fun character. Um, I might experiment with him. I don't think I'll main him or anything, but I like him. And I like that he's in the game. Um, and yeah, I, I think that was a pretty goofy arcade mode. Um, I, I liked... I, I don't know who voices Geo, but he's really funny. I, I really liked that. <laughs> uh, it was good. Um, and yeah, uh, we haven't heard anything about what the next character might be. Uh, I'm hoping for Dizzy, but there's a chance it's anyone really. It could be Elfelt or Abba or Bayer or Zappa. They would all be good, actually. I, I have no problem with it being pretty much anyone. I like Dizzy. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um... Yeah, that's, uh, that's Johnny Guilty Gear Strive. He is a guy who throws cards and, and then makes attacks happen where the cards are. So yeah, very, very zonery. <laughs> but you can also play him in a bit of a rushdown style, which is good because I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> oh, anyway. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed now because it's really light. <laughs> oh, get in here. Needs to go to bed too. <laughs>